I have to thank my team at Sony Music, led by, of course, Dennis Hanlon. For decades, no Australian Music Awards ceremony was complete without winners gushing about the former CEO of Sony Music Australia. But many of Dennis Handlin's former employees aren't so complimentary. He was sort of an equal opportunity abuser. You know, he was as mean to men as he was to women. Four Corners has spoken to more than 100 current and former Sony Music Australia staff. What's emerged is a clear pattern of abuse and a culture where discrimination and misconduct were allowed to thrive. It's always been a massive story that has been waiting to come out. Um, and it could never come out while Dennis was still at the helm because people were so scared. In the late 90s, Sony's head office in New York was alerted to Dennis Handlin's behaviour. An internal report obtained by Four Corners alleged Mr Handlin was often drunk, couldn't treat women as equals and had employees followed by private detectives. There isn't one executive I know that I've worked with at Sony Music Australia that wouldn't come out and support that document 100%. Dennis Handlin was briefly suspended in 1998, but then reinstated as CEO. I can't help but be really disappointed in the people that kept that man in that position after knowing about this behaviour for decades. Mr Handlin's remarkable 37-year tenure at the top ended abruptly in June. New York said, oh, we've just found out about this problem. This has just come to light and we know that is such a load of hogwash. For them to just say, oh, we found out about it a month ago or two months ago, it's just implausible. Dennis Handlin declined to be interviewed for the program. In a statement, he said, I would never tolerate treating women in an inappropriate or discriminatory manner, and that with issues of sexual misconduct, I always took immediate action. Sony Music has told Four Corners that it takes bullying, harassment and other inappropriate behaviour very seriously. Grace Tobin, ABC News.